pussy nigga fun. You can get slum, Deuce five with a month. Homicide is a must. Who can I trust? I don't know who I could trust. I don't know who finna bust. Don't give a fuck. Yo, what is up, guys? It is the Platinum J here. Messy hair day. No, I'm kidding. But we're gonna be opening some packs real quick. Um, as we get a Chris Harriman, we're gonna sell him. Yeah, I just had 70k sitting here, or 75k. I'm sorry, because I pulled a Stanton yesterday. Sorry for the no, the no video clip of that. But we're gonna be opening some packs. Um, 48 left. Let's see. Nothing. Daniel Vogel back. He might get an upgrade tomorrow. I did make a video today. It's a double upload, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. I did make a video earlier today on who's going to be going diamond, gold, silver, etc. Just a brief, uh, who's going to be getting upgraded. I did about three players, maybe four at each position. Um, as we do get a gold icon, huh? It's not saying it's sellable. John Gray as well. Um, I did in that video previously give a brief description to three or four players that are going to get upgrades. Because I, I know they'll probably upgrade about five to like eight each position, but I did like the main the main three who will definitely get upgrades for each position. So make sure you check that one out. And it would be wise to invest in those players that I did uh, scout out for you guys. Because I do indeed believe they will be going up. Um, and that is this Friday as we do not get anything. Wow. These packs are dry right now. Whew, come on. Let's get this pack lit going. So yeah, I would invest a little bit. Even if you don't have that many stubs, you can invest in the silvers right now that may be going for, let's say, 600 that might go up to gold. So you at least made 400 profit. At very least, they'll probably be selling for around 2K. So that's a quick 50% profit right there. You can just double your subs up as we get another bronze. Wow. Hmm. So yeah, just go and check that video. Um, very, very, very big banger. Gold bats. Hmm. Bronze again. Wow. Oh, we gotta we gotta try the luck. Hey, MLB the show. Hey, we need a diamond. Diamond. Nope. Bunch of bronzes. Whack. Hey man, the Padres, dude. My favorite team. They dropped a couple of games. Dropped two to the Rockies and lost the last game against the Diamondbacks. Um, so we get a Cody Allen. Huh. Let's see. Come on, come on. Please. <laughs> reveal all cheese. We're about to reveal all cheese this. Oh my god. Oh, Justin Verlander. Wow. We get the GOAT himself. <laughs> Okay, that's a very good pull. That's a very good pull. Come on, let's get another diamond. Let's get another diamond. I just can't believe we pulled one. Wow. Justin Verlander, though. That's kind of eh. Eh. Are packs dry again? Please, please no. Please no. Ben Attendee. Ah. Oh, man. I wish I could just pull a diamond every single pack I open. <laughs> Ship it, Stadium. Um, let me know also what, what videos you guys want to see. I will post a gameplay tomorrow. I will. My schedule's probably going to be looking like I will post gameplays on Thursdays for sure. Um, when, Wednesdays will be roster update predictions. And Fridays will be the roster update itself. Ro Fridays expect like two or three videos. I will post like a main brief uh, description of everything that came out. And then I'll probably go into depth little by little on separate videos. On, For example, like the roster update itself. Uh, what new cards they released in the game. What new programs there are, etc. And then I'll probably open some packs on Fridays too. Um, weekend, you can maybe expect like a battle royale Sunday and Saturday, maybe another gameplay, but they usually drop stuff on Mondays and Fridays, so expect uh, new content on those days for as far as video goes or videos go. Um, 
as we get some more bronzes. Denelson LeMay, when that guy comes back for the Padres, he's going to be a stud. He uh, led all the... I think he's like one of the only rookies. If not, I think he is the only rookie to have a 10Ks. Per, or he had like 11 or 12Ks per nine his rookie year, which is insane. He's a K machine. He just needs to learn how to control a little bit better. As we are not quite getting what we want here. I would love to pull a Mike Trout, but... You know, I'd love a million dollars too, but that's not happening right now. So... Mm, okay. Maybe we should talk a little bit of baseball because my mind is, I don't want to focus on these packs. They're that terrible right now. Um, Padres, they're a little slow now, but they're still, they still have a winning record. Uh, I do believe they're going to do well against the Reds in this next series. Reds don't have that, uh, the pitching. They have Luis Castillo, who's pretty nice. As we get a Eugenio Suarez, he plays for the Reds. But overall, I think for the Padres, Eric Hosmer slumping a little bit. He needs to start picking it up a little bit. Or by the All-Star break, they might move Will Myers to first and trade Hosmer for maybe a big arm. Uh, that would be wise, too, because they would get rid of his contract, his big contract, and they'll be able to sign a big free agent this offseason, which would be a big step to winning a World Series. Well, that, that's even a big step itself. They gotta at least see a playoffs first. Um, Tatis is looking really good. You know who surprised me is the Mariners. I did not think they were gonna be as good as they are, but then again, oh, here's Yohan Moncada. I would pick him up. He's probably gonna go silver, guys, and he's gonna be a battle royale beast or a budget squad beast. Switch hitters in this game are crazy good. But um, yeah, the Mariners, man, they have D Gordon. Uh, Hanager, Daniel Vogelback is carrying that lineup pretty nicely. Um, as we get a Chad Pinder. That new Japanese pitcher too, Ku Kukichi? Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's doing very nice. Um, but yeah, the Mariners are look like they're vibing pretty well. Yankees are looking like they're starting to reform into what they usually are, and right when they get their players off the disabled list, like all of them, they will will probably be they'll be at the top of that division. I think the Red Sox, though, they're they're not looking too hot. As we have eight packs left, the thing with the Red Sox is I don't know. I don't know if they're not vibing together or what it is. I don't know. They're a very good team, and it's not like they're getting they're getting demolished with injuries. No, they're just not performing. Um, how about Chris Davis getting his first hit too? Congratulations to that man. I mean, you know, a blind squirrel's got to find an acorn in the forest sometime, right? <laughs> As we get a Patrick Corbin here, eh, he's alright. Big dog's got to eat. We've got a gold equipment. Wow, we really do not... We are not getting anything. Can I get another diamond, please? 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 Eh. Trey Whittinger for the Padres. He's good. Any Padres player I just say is good. I'm a... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mike Moustakis. He's not bad. Oh, and uh, rumors for Dallas Keuchel. The Padres are... Expected to sign him soon. Um, they're in heavy talks with him right now. And they definitely need to sign him. They need another starting pitcher. They really have Chris Paddock, who's... That's it. Uh, oh, last pack, Diamond Equipment. Please be be something good. Um, okay, that's all right. We're going to open this ball as a habit pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh... Come on, come on, come on. Dang it. All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and peace.